Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is Kevin here again. Um, coming at you with a, a couple of uh, things. A lot of people um, use the butt connectors to attach wires. And um, where is it? I used a, um, I solder all my wires. Here it is. I'm adapting this um, electronic ignition to a points ignition um, system to get rid of the points. And I made up this wire right here, and as you can see, I soldered it. Um, but I want to teach you guys a little bit about soldering. Soldering is actually the best type of connector. It's solid, and um, and if you do it properly, it will not corrode. And that's what it looks like. And I use these right here. These are made by 3M. I've got two boxes of these. I got one that's multicolored, and then I got one that's just a regular standard gray for jobs that don't require it. I like my stuff to look as professional as possible. And as you can see... I use the twist wire solder method. And I'm going to tell you what that is. Okay. So you take your uh, wire and you twist them together. And then I'm going to quickly solder this. I've been doing this one hand so I can't do it with you on the phone. But basically what, um, what you do is you put your heat to the tip. Heat it up. Leave it at the tip. And you just solder and go down the wire. So let's see if I can... Uh, I don't think I can do this with you. Yeah, but we'll find out. Let's see if I can just hold this. Hold on one second. That's not gonna work. Okay. Hold on one second. Hey Nicole, can you come here for a minute, please? Sure. Get my trusty assistant. No, I, I'm making this video real quick. I need your help. Can you hold that camera right, like that? Just like that. I'm going to solder this wire right here. So you got to keep that part right there in focus. Can I show people how to do these soldering? Hold on one second. Alright, so basically what you do is you hold the wire on here. Starts the tin. Okay, and that right there. Thank you. That right there, you, you had it on there the whole time? That right there is how you solder. Okay, oh, all right, you can go play. Thank you, Nikki, for your help. And now, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna show you how I put the, uh, there's two types of different ways to solder. Solder this camera, it really stinks. But, here we go, like that. So I put the heat at the tip, and then I ran the solder along the, uh, the copper. And then what I do is I then take the wire. I'll put you down for a second. It's gonna give, it's gonna pause for a second. Okay. So then I take. It's really hard to see. I'm so I really apologize about this. And you take the saw the um what do you call it? There? The heat shrink. Cut it to length. Put it over the end like that. And then you use your heat gun, which I have. Once again, I'm doing this all one-handed. Hold on one second. Okay, so that right there is my heat gun. Just a regular heat gun. Some people use a lighter. Some people use a butane torch. And basically, when you're done, this is what it will look like right here. And uh, let me see if I can just expand this a little bit here. And let's try to clean it up. Okay, my head go. Uh, hopefully that helps. I do apologize for the quality of this video. It really is stinky. Okay, yeah, there we go. So that right there is what it looks like. And that is the twist and um, bend method that I use. And I use that method on that connector. And as you can see, I bent one one way and soldered it. And bent the other one the opposite way. And the reason why we use heat shrink is so that no water can get into it. It's a solid connection. It won't corrode. You won't have to worry about this, connect this connection. Um... I said there was two, there's actually three techniques to uh, soldering wires. There's the twist together and then solder, solder it and then fold it like I just showed you. And then there is the butt to butt, which I'm going to pause and get the wire set up for that one. Okay. So the butt to butt is when you solder two wires like that. 
right there and then you slide the uh, heat shrink over them that way these are all acceptable ways of soldering um, and try not to get the solder under the installation under the installation um, you want it just up to the insula insulation that's the proper way of doing it um, I was doing this one hand and I got it actually under a um, was it right there under the ins um, insulation so you don't really want to do that uh, you want to get it right up to it um, without going underneath of it and um, so I, I did that but it's a demonstration video so at least I was able to point you out my flaws and then I'm going to teach you the other style this is the style that um, radio places use when they install your car stereo or your alarms they strip the wire back like this and then they use a um, what do you call it there a um, a test light and use the tip and I'll show you what they do with it okay and they use it and they uh, spread it open and make a hole then what they do is they take the wire and they put it through twist it and then they use electrical tape I do the same thing but I use solder and then um, then you then you use electrical tape and tape it up so I'll show you what that connection looks like in a second okay so basically you take the wire so there we go you take the wire you push it through on one side and then you simply twist it and then you use a dab of solder on it and you can still use heat shrink on this if you um, if you do it properly right now it's in a TC you can't use the heat shrink but if you slide the heat shrink on the tube first bend your wire like this now you can slide a heat shrink over that and make that look absolutely gorgeous so those are the three types of connections you can do with wire um, and these right here will help you in your automotive um, installations of car stereos it would make it um, a solid connection but connectors are not a solid connection they get moisture in them they corrode they turn green they break they fall off um, a lot of people use them on trailer hitches and they can't figure out why their uh, trailer lights aren't working soldering is the best way to go and you don't even need a high quality soldering iron this actually is not a high quality it's a high quality one but it's not that high quality and I'll show you why because I got the base for the heat because sometimes I do circuit boards that are sensitive but um, that's just the base it actually unplugs from the side here and I can use any type of soldering iron on it so it's just a regular soldering iron this one Boy, this camera's really bad today with the focusing. This one is a 40 watt um, soldering iron. But you don't have to get a 40 watt. You can get a 20, a 15. It doesn't have to be top end. So anyway, those are the three ways that um, you can solder. There's the twist and fold. There's the poke the hole through, twist, solder. And then there's the butt to butt. And all three of these are absolutely acceptable and are in way better than using butt connectors because I would not want to be on the bike if this was butt connected together to the point where I'm not sure if it's going to hold. Now I know it's solid. This solder joint is as good as straight solid wire. You're not going to get a better connection with a um, with a butt you know butt connector. So. I hope this helps you. Um, once again, I need to get a camera holder. I apologize. I, you know, I was able to at least do one joint for you with the um, showing you how to do it and um, the tools you need to do a proper soldering job. I simply soldering iron, a uh, heat gun, shrink wrap, and solder with flux core in it. And I use a test light. And if you're um, not um, we call it sure how good your joint is just use a uh, multimeter and probe it on each end set it to ohms and um, it'll ohm out on both sides so that's pretty much it so what this is going to do this is going to be for my ke100 i'm actually going to adapt it with this um, mag right here and have the electron ignition i got the coil got a few of them but here's the thing i don't want to put this in and kill my um what do you call it, the electrical. Because you never know if this goes bad and I can't find one, I wanna switch it back. Um, because these bikes are getting rare, they're getting hard to find. Um, I made it so. The yellow connector is the same on all the bikes, but the blue connector isn't. 
so I didn't want to cut the wire off my factory mag to make this one so I used the parts one I had a parts harness with the female end this is going to so I once again one-handed plug in there and then to the factory um, harness without damaging the bike and then the coil is two bolts and a one one uh, speed connector so that's pretty much it to convert that over I got two um, two bolts to hold it in I need the flywheel cover and I have to use the um, what you call it the uh, four pole mag this has got the four big magnets and this is not a cam where the points would normally ride so you can't use this one with points and that's basically you can see it's got four posts four posts that's how you can match up and make sure you get the right mag for the right rotor is to make sure you get the, you count the uh, magnets and you count your post and that's pretty much it so i hope this um i hope this little short video helps you out and um if you have any questions or comments you know by all means send them my way and i'll be more than happy to help you with anything um, if you're going to use electrical tape, I recommend using a high quality one, not one from like a dollar store. That stuff is just really, really cheap. It comes off and always pull your electrical tape, tape tight. Um, and that's going to give you a really good connection, just like a, uh, heat shrink. So pull it tight, get it really as tight as you can. And, um, and that should work for you. So anyway, this is Kevin and, um, please subscribe. As always, you know, always ask the subscriptions, and I'm always asking uh, for your comments, and if you have any questions, um, or you're not quite sure, I might be able to talk you through it. So, for now, have a good night. Thanks.